Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation in our campaign modes. It's been requested and so we are going to continue. I don't need to do this campaign, that was just a test to make sure my software is still working. Forfeit that, there we go, thank you. Okay, let's start up a new campaign and I'm going to be calling this one Curious Bulldozer because I think that's a fun name. And of course on Brutal Difficulty, not Mega, simply because I don't think I want to waste the next 15 hours of recording. Our first map is Lapis Lake. We have a fuel shortage. I hate this one. Ah, the inability to move your people around is such a hindrance. Start with full intel. Well, that's pretty nice, at least. Soldiers can support across rivers, and there are armed supporters for increased uh, security in stable zones. Well, this should be a fairly easy one. I'm not even going to bother changing up our governor or even picking any advisors. Let's save all of them for the future. So this map should be absolutely no problem whatsoever. Where do I want to set up my, uh, my HQ? Usually I set it up down over here, and I still think that's an okay location, so we'll do that. There we go. All right, let's see. Our starting opening moves of the effective procurement, some extra education, and some intelligence would be pretty nice. I have a little extra income right now, which is interesting. Um, we could go ahead and grab the regional census early, but since I already started with full intelligence, I don't think I want to start with that. Instead, let's go for some water initiatives. Since this is a desert, we usually do end up needing that. And I might want to go for roads and stuff a little bit early simply because we do know we are going to have problems with transportation going forward, and I think that could be worthwhile. What do our roads look like? Mostly highways down here and regular roads up here. I want both ultimately, but let's get some highways to start us off. So at least along the bottom half of the map, I can relocate a little bit faster. And we'll do regular roads up top as well. Uh, but I also want to be getting things like PR and media office. I think for now I'm just going to go ahead and take the risk of the early support level and just go for the transportation because seriously not being able to move your people around is a major hindrance. So the last time I, I played Rebel Inc. was whew, a few months ago I think and there have been some updates since then which is awesome. Um, I think some new map features and other perks have been added including uh, let's say adding catacombs and or, uh, caves under urban zones and a few others so all that could be pretty tough. We're gonna go ahead and allow a little bit of support level that ultimately was not that bad. Let's go for universal justice now. But yeah, so some new features, um, some of which I imagine are going to be pretty hard and some might be beneficial. I really don't know. We're going to hopefully run into at least a few of them at some point. So we've got the PR for a little bit of extra support. That's nice. Still no insurgents. There they are. Okay. And we haven't found anything on the map um, for like a special, like specialist depot or anything. We'll go ahead and start training up some coalition soldiers. Let's go ahead and also start up some national soldiers, which increases my corruption a lot. But I want to get that ball a rolling. Extra literacy is nice. Okay, so they spawned in a stable zone right here, which is an interesting choice. I think we have some road upgrades here already, so we should be able to fix this up pretty quick. Um, people want jobs and electricity and healthcare. All of that seems good, but I also need to be reducing my corruption level a little bit, since at 30%, that's a little high. Guessing there's a camp right up here, even though we had full intel. Nope, it's right there, never mind. Uh, I guess we can go and chase them down. It's a bit risky, but if we get some extra coalition troops, we should be able to reinforce and help take that out. So we'll do that right now. just want to stop them from spawning. I do see another camp right over here that I need to deal with, but let's try to get rid of this one since we're already committed at this point. And I do want to get the strategic communications for that extra support level. A fair number of stable zones right now means we should be able to move around a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and try to take out this insurgent camp, but you can see it's taking a very long time to relocate, which is why I delayed that. Uh, we're going to threaten these guys for some extra reputation. That's almost always the right thing to do at the beginning of the game. And you guys mostly want jobs and telecommunications. Well, telecoms I can absolutely do. That will help me quite a bit to start us off. There's the camp, and so far nothing has spawned. There it is. I had to say something, didn't I? I just, I just had to say something. Um, I'm going to let you sit where you are at the moment. You're really not a problem. Uh, as long as you stay in this area of the desert, I don't care. Some garrisons would be smart. That's not a good spot for one, but we'll build it anyway. Just to help, uh, help keep these guys contained a little bit. I don't want these guys retreating into the urban area, which is why I'm just going to let them sit there for the moment. Uh, we have some national soldiers, but I don't need to locate them at the moment. Uh, regional census still doesn't seem like a very high priority. Let's go ahead and work on some jobs discussion. We're losing intel in this zone. But that's fine. That's when regional census will be useful again. Let's go for land rights. That tends to be pretty good in terms of support level. We are going to have to deal with some of these guys now. Let's move up to reinforce a little bit. They did take this zone, but that's fine. As long as they don't spawn a camp, it doesn't hurt me. Could go for some more roads, but instead I'm going to go for some more corruption reduction just to keep that under control. Right now we're not losing any reputation, which is amazing. Actually, you need to go here instead. Sorry. Uh, there's a new camp. Ah, crud. Okay. Um... 
We'll try moving up here. We'll see if that works. Uh, I'm going to threaten for a 5% chance of success. There we go. A little bit more reputation for me. Do need some more national soldiers. We'll likely need to get some airstrikes as well. So we can win some of these fights, like so. Did find another camp. Okay, trying to win this. I think we should be able to win that, no problem. That camp's going to go down. You need to come over here now. They are... It looks like my garrison actually automatically destroyed that, which is great. I'm a little concerned about losing an urban zone, so let's see if we can relocate, but I think that's going to take me some time. Not as long as I thought it would, truth be told, so that's great. Um, more roads, honestly, is necessary just because of the downside of this map. And we should be able to reinforce and win this now, which is good. We are able to contest the urban zone, so they didn't take it, so we're not going to take a huge loss of reputation. Okay, so we've got this all under control. Awesome. Um, what else do we need? Well, I would like to get the interpreters and guides. And I would like to get the civil assistance, so we roll out initiatives a little faster in some key areas. A garrison right here is actually really good. Okay. Uh, what else do we want to do? Well, they still want electricity um, and healthcare. We can do both of those, but corruption's a little high right now. I'm going to move you up here just so we can relocate a little faster along this road later if we need to. 9% uh, chance? I think I'll take that risk. Okay, good. Now up to 100 reputation. That's pretty decent for us at this stage of the game. Um, and we're going to have some deployment issues soon. Let's go for a little bit more corruption reduction. I'm going to locate you where? Up over here? Let's hold on to you for now, actually. I don't know where I'm going to place these guys. Do I let these guys go home or no? That's the question. Do I let them go home or no? We have enough reputation that I can afford to keep them for a while, so I think we will do that. We're going to get a lot of reputation farmed out once we are done with these guys anyway, once we're ready to declare peace. We're holding these guys under control pretty nicely. This map is, uh, honestly, so far, absolutely no problem whatsoever. Doing great, feeling just fine and dandy. We'll burn some more corruption down a little bit. Cover up, never admit fault. Ah, it didn't pay off. We lost a lot of reputation. Ah, well. It's fine, it's fine. 23% uh, chance feels risky, so we're not going to do that one. Let's go for some security in stable zones, so that if these guys do relocate into a green zone, they are likely going to get uh, destroyed by the police. Slow progress in peace, huh? All right, these guys are coming back into the urban zones. Never mind, they changed their mind. Never admit fault, and we lost it again? Gosh, what are the odds of that? All right. Uh, we do need to get the Foreign Relations Office, so we can apply some subtle pressure to our international rivals. These guys are honestly not doing much so far in this zone, so honestly, if we're going to end up getting that map feature where we can't relocate quickly, I'm glad we're knocking it out now a little bit early. Let's reduce that corruption a bit further. Inflation's up to 18%, but overall, it's really not that bad. We're still trying to roll out more initiatives. I want to move out of here, is the thing. So let's try to crush these guys and push them into an area where we have some police. I want to get these guys cleared out so I can move somewhere else. Uh, another long extension, I think, is fine right now. We can afford to lose a bit of reputation. It's not that bad. We are going to grab the democratic transition, though, to help make up for some of that. There we go. We're fighting over here and fighting up over here. No big deal. You can now move up so we can go and build out initiatives elsewhere. You are done here. Okay. Um, let's see. They are retreating into the mountains, which is kind of what I wanted. A garrison right here will be great. Let's actually move you here move you forward and move you here and see if we can clear these guys out entirely. I think that's the way to go. Prioritize elections to get some extra reputation. Uh, ooh, you're in an urban area. Can't let you do that. Gotta get rid of you. Some extra roads would be smart, I think, just so we can locate faster since we're still a little bit slower than I would like. There we go. We are contesting over here. We should be able to get these zones down with the garrison in place. These guys will have nowhere to run. We'll imprison some of the insurgents. It did antagonize them, and it looks like they are going to ignore uh, our peace negotiations now. Okay, these guys are dead. Good. We can move forward with all of you. And we're going to... Uh, what's the easiest way to corral these guys? Truth be told, they're in a pretty open area. There is no easy way to corral these guys. We're going to try to start pushing you guys west, and maybe we can get you up into a corner or something. We do need to roll out a lot of initiatives in that area. Um, let's actually move you guys here. I'm going to try to push you into a corner where it's easy for me to deal... Never mind, we have to go back over here. I'm going to try to push them into a corner where it's easy for me to finish them off. Full elections, 31% chance of failure? Okay, well, at least it didn't, uh, it didn't hurt me this time. Let's go for the regional census, finally. Let's also pick up... What do you need? Nothing? Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go for the development bank. 
And I'll be able to get to remote subsidies soon enough. Let's also get healthcare and tuberculosis vaccines. Okay. Um, this should be fine. We're still moving so slow, though. I really hate the perk of not being able to move your troops. It is such an unbelievable hindrance in this game. It's a little too strong, I think. Way too strong. Even with fully upgraded roads, we're still not able to move around very quickly. Like, that should tell you something, right? Let's see. We're going to go for more civil assistance. Let's also do the national travel logistics so we can move our national soldiers around a little bit faster to help make up the problems we're having. Let's tighten the rules so we got stop getting quite so many civilian casualties. I feel like we're getting a bit too much. We were able to save this zone, which I think is amazing. Was not expecting that. Okay, so now... Now we can push forward here and try to fight in the mountains with the help of the garrisons. I will boost up those garrisons so it's a little bit easier. Uh, a new air force to make national soldiers stronger. Yes, please, and thank you. That'd be great. Let's actually train up some more, because I don't want to have to do another extension on these coalition soldiers if we can avoid it. Okay, now we're fighting over here with airstrikes. This should be... Ooh, it's proving to be a bit tougher. Let's go for heavier airstrikes. Okay, we were able to build that up. This zone should be fine, but let's just help it along a little bit. Why are we struggling so much over here? Let's try to get some reinforcements. The airstrikes will help, but it's not enough. 4% chance of cover-up failing, no problem. Here come the reinforcements. It's still not enough. I'm shocked. Insurgents are absolutely banned. Not allowed to be here. Um, we're going to need some more coalition soldiers, I think, to help make up for this. We are pushing up, up into this corner, which is great. Can you guys get up over here? There we go. We reinforce a little bit faster. I want to send you home, but we kind of want to win this fight, too. Are we pushing you out? We are. Uh, I don't think we got him out fast enough. The red arrow is here, so are they counting as retreating? Maybe. Let's send them home. And then move you here. They did officially retreat. Good. Okay. Let's get the caves out of here. Let's get some drones. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. They're moving back over here. Nope, they're moving over here instead, actually. That's even better. Okay, perfect. We did finish up over in this direction. So now we are going to move you here, I think, in case they do retreat down to the south, because I anticipate that being a thing. There's another camp we're going to have to get rid of. Rules unchanged. I think a 38% chance is an acceptable risk. Garrison here is bad placement, but we'll go ahead and build it anyway. Still getting rid of that cave. Now, you guys can move up here. We're going to start pushing them into a corner. That should make things really easy. Let's increase their weapon strength. Let's also get some more dirt roads. And let's get some remote subsidies. A couple levels of that. Should make it a lot easier for me to roll out more initiatives in this area. All right, cave complex gone. That's less spawning going on there. You guys want to go home? I will allow it. We have a garrison over here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Say you're sorry. Ah, they don't want to do any more negotiations. Sorry was too much for them. They're extremely stubborn and prideful. Did you know? It's the All right, so I'm going to continue rolling out initiatives here. Um, what we can do now is move you forward and you here, because I want to use national soldiers to roll out initiatives, because they tend to be more effective at it. There goes a camp, so that's big. We are going to arrest the police chief. We're going to lose our security bonus, but honestly, that's fine. It's not worth the corruption. And we want to get the remote subsidies here, so we can have more specific jobs in the uh, remote areas. All right, so a new camp did spawn right here. I was afraid that might happen. Let's try to counter these guys in the urban area. We're going to have to find a way to back them into a corner again. But I also want to continue rolling out initiatives here. Um, we're going to get the security checkpoint, so it's harder for people to take over those zones. And then we're going to go for some water, and we're going to go for some more tuberculosis. Uh, and we're going to get, um, I don't know, let's say combat bonus from our drones. How's that sound? Yeah? At this point, though, we're fine. We've, with the map, is no issue. It's just a matter of can we get you guys killed quickly. And the answer should be yes. Uh, hand over your weapons. Let's antagonize them further. And once again, they refuse to do peace talks. You guys are proving to be very, very stubborn. All right, we'll keep chasing you guys into a corner somewhere. I just don't want them getting any uh, purchase. At least until we can finish stabilizing zones. Once we stabilize zones, we win. So we might as well just keep pushing them for now. Okay, they move here. That's fine. Let's just move over this direction. We're going to keep chasing them down and reinforcing. How are we looking in this zone? Almost done. Police numbers soar by a huge amount. Let's go for the human terrain system. Let's go for civil support. Okay, not that we need it right now, but if we are able to place a garrison in a new zone, that would be great. Let's go for full prison reforms. Doing just fine on reputation. Just fine and dandy. We're going to move you guys over here and use the national soldiers to reinforce this area a little bit faster. 
I would like to prevent you guys from going into this urban area. Continue contesting. I want to have this zone under control. They're going to be pushed into this corner. Good, good, good. Keep chasing them down. What's this? Uh, donate to charity for the extra support level. Why not? We've got loads of money we're just sitting on, and I have really no idea what to do with them. More frequent airstrikes. That's the way to go. More bombs. International forces are allowed to... Gosh dang it, again they refuse. So that's all zones finished. If we can just finish you guys off, we win. Nope, never mind. We already won. It said 99%, but with every single zone supported, I think we are just fine. So wow, uh, I've never actually been able to beat a map while there are insurgents still running around. Usually they have at least one zone to stabilize, but there we go. So with absolutely no benefit and some perks whatsoever, we were still able to win this scenario. No problem. Let's see what perks they are going to get. Insurgent attacks more frequently. Ugh, okay, don't like that. What do we get, though? Start with higher support level is very good. Uh, experts increase travel speeds. Only good if you have experts. And start with a tank. I don't like tanks. So early engagement, I think, is the only real choice to be had here. So we'll pick this one. Early support level is just good in every single way. Uh, it stacks up really well with other perks where you can get extra money or travel speed, etc., etc. And also it just helps you win the game faster in general and uh, get more zone stabilized before the insurgents even spawn at the beginning of the game. So I like that one a lot. All right, we're going to end this video here, but we have to decide between the next couple of maps. I will decide which one to pursue in between videos. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.